trout, bro. Good trout. It's a bad trout. That was awesome though. Stay tuned, we got a crazy episode coming today. Woo You're not getting one with me. wife waits on you to go get a Manny Petty together but atrocious man atrocious all right let me just catch up my three trout real quick That was a big trout. Dude, that was a big freaking trout. Dude. 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 Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Dude! I saw the whole thing on camera. What is wrong with me? I've seen it. God. <laughs> what color what colors on there? Pearl? Pearl with the little shark tail. I got more in this box if you want to. Dude, he was over 20, right? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm kicking myself right now. Hopefully we can fix it by May. <laughs> We're not winning. There's one. There's one tiny though, compared to that last one. Gosh. You think so? No. <laughs> it might be. Nah, he's small. He's small. All right, guys. Honestly, I, was, messed up. <laughs> I messed up, guys. I really did. Yeah, this is like, the other one could have ate that one, guys. All right, I've been super skeptical about this rig, but maybe it's a real thing. Die, stop hitting this thing. Yeah. Man, I can't believe how far this thing cast, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, like it's, I got an eighth ounce and a little junior ball tail and it's still crazy far.
good trout, bro. Good trout. Holy yeah. cow. Good trout. Holy smokes. Good trout, good trout, good trout. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> come on, come on. Get back up here. Yes. Nice. Talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. Hey, boys and girls, that's a nice end. Right there. That's a nice boy right there. Down south with salty head on my hands. Alright, guys. Down south. I don't even know what color this is. A little burner shed. Nice fat. Nice fat trout. <laughs> Wow. Sometimes it's the little ones, guys. I don't know. Well, that's a good first fish. It was, right? On the rod, buddy. Felt good, man. Oh. Another one. Let's go. Ah, skip Jack. It's still a fish. No trout. No skip. Skippy. Hey man, I can see the lure. Is that a pump lure or what? It's a down south. Their plastic's super soft. Tournament preparation day one. Give it a little series. Okay, okay. Lost it though. Maybe if I was in Louisiana. All right guys, here we are. Jacob's already up in the water. We're gonna be testing out this brand spanking new rod. We got the Shimano SLX on there with the Veravos 1.2 gome line and the murky water rod, the 6.9 ultralight moderate fast, four to six pounds. Yeah, you heard me, four to six. One thirty second downs all the way down to three sixteenths. That's what we're rocking today. And also, as you can tell, we're rocking the weight boots and the water's a. <laughs> little chilly okay so we're gonna start off the day with the OG the seven foot light action with the little top water this is a head in super spook OG? yeah you can go higher All right, guys, so we're starting off with a little top water. Just searching right now. Top water is a great search bait. If you guys are just looking for some bites, start off with the top water. A little walk the dog action. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, I just got exploded on, bro. No, I got exploded, though. Was it from two weeks ago or three weeks ago? 
<laughs> Seriously? Change your leader out. Oh, they missed it. All right, guys, here is the inaugural first cast on the brand new murky water rod. 6'9", ultralight, salty head, one-aught hook, or is it two-aught? Correct me if I'm wrong, Paco. And I got this with the AM three inch. Sheesh. And here we go, inaugural, first inaugural cast. Bird's nest. Just kidding. Oh, silky smooth, boys. Silky smooth. <laughs> guys this rod is light as a feather we spared no expense guys these are recoil guides here black look solid and we got the blue and silver scheme gunmetal to match the bfs shimano reel and this thing is light we put it on the scale 2.5 ounces with the rear <laughs> so easily the lightest rod i've ever put in my hands and it's just casting like a dream casting like a dream now we got to get it hooked up and get that little sound going oh boy oh boy so you guys are probably asking, why would you go with such an interesting rod selection? Ultra light, moderate fast. Aren't you catching giant redfish? Well, this is delving into the world of BFS, which stands for Bait Finesse System. So over there across the pond in Japan, they fish these really tiny little creeks and stuff. And... Um, for whatever reason they prefer bait casters over spinning which i can understand bait caster is lovely i love the ease of just click and throw and then i like the left-handed retrieve because it's just easy you don't have to switch hands or anything like that so it's kind of made its way over here to the u.s and people are now getting these tiny little bait casters i mean look at my palm this is a tiny little very shallow spools and they can throw very light light lures like i can throw all the way down to like 132nd if i wanted to so i needed a rod that would match the reel and i knew no one better than senor jacob Perez. and the guys over there at murky water just knocked it out of the park this thing feels amazing super light man if you guys watched my last video where i was fishing with reuben i had a seven foot light action rod and that one was awesome but this one this one's like a whole new dimension ultra light ultra light if you guys want one of these rods, be sure to check out the description below. These rods are starting off at 209 if you're interested. And if you want to jump up and be a big boy and go with the recoils, that's going to add a hun another 100 bucks to your rod and reel. But we'll do whatever you want. Felt a little something, but I think it was just a little chiquito. What was that? Another monster skipjack. Dang, that was crazy. And he like swirled on it. Like I felt the tension, it was like swirl, and he came back and hit it again. When I was out here, when we were out here, it was confusing because the reds were doing that swirl thing. Uh huh.
Dang. That was a good one. Yeah, just 31. Bird dogs or whatever, what are they called? Uh, oh, <laughs> come on. Yes. Oh, it's a skipjack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was awesome, though. Woo and then you cut. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. No! Not another. Oh. The slick lure. Well, boys, the spoon wouldn't do it, so we had to bust out the old slick lure. The old slick lure. Yeah, buddy. Boom. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I hope to give you guys a lot more information on how to catch reds and trout and flounder in these different areas. Be sure to check out Salt Strong. They have a lot of really awesome classes all on their website. If you go check out fishstrong.com, they even sent me this uh, inshore fishing manifesto book and it gives a lot of really cool tips and tricks and uh, even maps on how to figure out how to catch more fish in your area. So. Uh, be sure to check it out. Be sure to go down in the description below and check out a link. If you guys click on that link, um, it really helps out the channel. I am a Salt Strong affiliate. Every click helps. And if you guys click on the link, you guys can get a brand new package of Salt Strong lures sent right to your house. You guys be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching Fish Again Milligan. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, if you don't catch fish, it's all good. You can always fish again. Peace.